hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back again if you're seeing this face for the first time this is gakoku ruth and welcome to my channel subscribe to the video currently we are doing gratitude videos and i'm trying to cultivate a culture of gratitude as well as get you all who are watching me to be more grateful for everything every little thing in your life currently outside it's raining mists mm -hmm. remember when i said that i'm hoping that it doesn't get worse i guess i jinxed it and it's so cold outside it's not raining but the mists that is hitting the uh what are they called the iron sheets makes it look like it's raining even when i go outside you feel like it's raining i'm going to insert a creep here for you guys to witness that but uh on the brighter side what are we grateful for today currently today i'm grateful that i have four walls around me to keep me warm and keep me safe is this family i'm going to give an example is this family that uh they are twins and the two the two the two gentlemen they are not okay they they uh, would i say that they are not doing okay mentally so ideally they are always at the town center and they don't have shoes how no today i think of them and i'm like how are they surviving this weather i'm in the house and it's super cold if they happen to be still at the town center how much cold are they experiencing how are they coping with this and just thinking about that i realize that i have so much to be grateful for that i can afford shoes that i can afford clothes to keep me warm that i have a house to be in right now and even that i'm able to even be filming this and telling god that i'm grateful you know there are times that you find out that it's too already too late maybe you're on your hospital bed maybe it's your deathbed and you're dying and you realize that you are not you didn't do enough but be beyond doing enough for me i feel like being grateful is the most important thing that i can do to appreciate how much god has blessed me might not be where i want to be but i'm grateful that i'm here because what i have right now the life that i'm living right now is a life that i wished for there was a time that i lived with my siblings and i wish that i was living in my own space I have that now it would be so wrong of me not to acknowledge that you know so i'm here to say that i acknowledge that i'm living things that i i'm living a life that i wished for a few a few years ago you know i've been staying alone for going on to three years now and i have seen god i never lacked food i never lacked money to pay for my rent i never like to be honest i never lacked anything i must have i might have struggled here and there but i never lacked anything well i'll give a good example last year i didn't have like a stable job but i never i was never ever late to pay my rent and when i was late to pay my rent i had rent the next day and that is just to say that God has been faithful in my life and today I'm looking back and telling God thank you for I am living what I prayed for I might not have known better to pray for more but now that I do the much that I can do right now is say thank you Jesus that I am living answered prayers from the past you know and I know that even the life that I wish for is coming it's coming and it will come and i'll also be grateful because one thing that i have come to learn with life is that once you get one thing you always want more but even as much as you want more remember to be grateful gratitude yields more blessing i cannot insist that enough and do not be afraid to ask god for anything absolutely anything that you want in this life if you feel like you want a car you have a dream car that you want yes you might not have the money you might not see the means in which that you're going to get it but 
it doesn't cost you anything to go before God and tell him that God this is the dream car that I want and I want it at this particular time I don't know how you're going to do it but I know you're going to do it because currently I do have a dream and I'll tell you when it comes true but I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that dream because I'm working towards it but at the same time I can't doubt the power of my God my God is so powerful he created the heavens and earth and if he's capable of blessing someone else that just means that I'm in line I'm next in line and I'm getting closer to my bless to my blessing and to my destiny so I don't shy away anymore from asking God to bless me and I don't shy away for, from asking for what might feel like a big ask from of me from God because whatever might feel like a big ask from me from God God tells me that he's capable of giving me more than I can imagine so just imagine what is that supposed to mean it means that with what I'm imagining to be big God has even greater things that he can grant me all that I need to do is ask trust him and be faithful faithfully serve him faithfully live my life in accordance to his will and all that and more will be given unto me so brethren i'm calling unto you today kindly remember as we start this week do not be afraid to ask for anything that you want to ask from god so long as it's in accordance to his will he's capable of blessing you beyond what you can imagine guys he's like he's capable of doing more exceedingly more than you can imagine so that's the word for today that's the gratitude word for today think about it put it into action and you don't have to wait until you're at a good place for you to start being grateful be grateful today and you will see how much your life is going to change until next time guys peace and i'll see you on the next one